Seven years ago, the X3 was considered the most reliable BMW on the market. For a positive reputation, you should thank the first-generation car with the E83 index. Today, it's time to feel for the reliability of the X3 F25, a second-generation crossover, since a third-generation car, G01, entered the market. Buying a used BMW is unfortunately not a brilliant idea today. Any decent service will tell you about it. And they will add that you need to look, choose a motor, study the service history of a particular car. Such a complex and very expensive purchase may have a lot of nuances, the correction of which, not even an hour, may require a fortune. However, let's not exaggerate. The X3 isn't all that bad. Cars delivered to Ukraine began to be sold in 2011. And still on the secondary they are considered a tasty morsel. The reason is simple. Interior trim materials are completely natural and durable. There is no so-called eco-leather, which after a few years tends to crack and wear out in places of the most active impact, on the steering wheel, side walls and seat cushions. And in general, there are practically no complaints about the quality of the interior trim and body resistance. The paintwork is quite strong, but not armor resistant to resist the abrasive flying towards the road. However, cars that are 5 or 7 years old do not have a hint of rust, and the varnish sometimes shines like new ones. There are more than enough stories when X3 owners drive their crossovers without major intervention in the engine for 300 to 400,000 km. And they speak for themselves. However, there are many but, which should not be forgotten. All X3 engines are characterized by high running characteristics, power and torque. From what and the characteristic breakdowns pursuing them, especially with the ragged and aggressive mode of operation. You can't tell about all the problems with the motors, but will still remind you of the main ones. Petrol turbo N20, 184 or 245 horsepower, uses timing chain drives and oil pump. They are not entirely reliable. A timing chain with a resource of about 100,000 km is stretched, it can jump a tooth or fly off. And if the oil pump drive fails, the consequences are obvious. Sometimes such a motor does not even make financial sense to repair. The inline gasoline 3 liter 6 of the N55 series, like other X3 engines, is prone to increased oil appetites and overheating. The lack of proper lubrication disables the camshafts and pastels of the blockhead. Minus N55, short-lived timing clutches with a resource of no more than 60,000 km. Diesels of the N47 series, up to 190 horsepower, have their own problems with selectivity to our fuel. Although the resource of piezo injectors with a careful choice of gas stations can reach a significant 200,000 km. The timing chain is another local source of problems. In addition, diesel engines, like gasoline colleagues, are afraid of overheating, which leads to micro cracks in the cylinder liners. A complete disassembly of such a motor will be expensive. And it turns out that only an inline diesel 6, from 258 to 313 horsepower, N57 with one or two turbines remains to be recommended. However, it is also not reckless, since she, in general, without chronic problems, is very afraid of overheating and loves oil. And that's not all X3 ailments. When operating on poor quality roads, the steering rack rarely does without knocks for more than 100,000 km. Usually knocking starts earlier. You can't list all the culprits here, the rake is weak. In addition, the rail is assembled with an electric amplifier, so replacement, and repair is impossible here, is very expensive. In addition, the transfer case in the X-Drive all-wheel drive system can throw up problems. She is killed by both untimely service and a failed servo motor. In a word, the Rosdica starts to work without stopping, and the clutches burn. We practically did not touch the suspension, brakes and electrics. There were no particular problems. It's still still a BMW, though already without that same legendary margin of former strength. The suspension as a whole is quite reliable and can live for 100,000 km without repair. Its main disadvantage is its high cost. How do you like the replacement of silent blocks and ball assemblies with levers for 250 euros? When buying, we recommend avoiding cars on large wheels with low profile tires. Their suspension does not last long. X3 is equipped with a 6 speed manual or 8 speed automatic transmission. Both boxes do not cause any problems. The clutch on the manual gearbox can run for more than 150,000 km. But the all-wheel drive system is capable of surprises in the face of the dead transfer case. Regardless of mileage, mechanics see the main problem with N20 gasoline engines as a malfunction of the oil pumps of 2-liter units. The source of diesel problems is too long an oil change interval. In addition, on all diesel engines, 
the rubber damper of the crankshaft pulley cracks from thermal loads by the age of 5. A lot of criticism of the X3's very delicate windshield. Even wiper blades can leave noticeable marks on it, which quickly turn into full-fledged scuffs. When buying a car with an electric fifth door, it is worth checking the drive cylinders. They often wear out and cost under 500 euros. In general, there are not many complaints about electrics and electronics. However, there were cases when the wiring leading from the trunk rotted, from the battery to the engine compartment. In addition, the machine does not like long downtime, during which the battery voltage drops, which leads to failures and glitches of the electronics.